Welcome to the Bell Tone Sound Hearing YouTube channel. I'm Dave the Hearing Aid Guy. You might remember me from such famous YouTube videos as Can I wear my hearing aids to bed? Or when should I first come in for a hearing evaluation? Today's question comes to us from Jerome M. from Goebbels, Michigan. Jerome asks, who should come with me for my hearing evaluation? That's a great question, Jerome. One of the things we do as part of our hearing evaluation is what we call a word test. That word test uses this list, a list designed by Northwestern University in the 1960s. Here we sit 40 years later, more than 40 years later, using the exact same word list. This is a balanced word list. It touches on all sounds in the alphabet multiple times. It gives the hearing practitioner a good idea whether you may have a low frequency loss, a high frequency loss, perhaps even both. As part of our evaluation, we have someone with a familiar voice to you. That would be a sibling, a spouse, partner, someone you talk to often, someone whose voice is very familiar to you. We'll have them pick out one list, read you a word, and have you repeat that word back. We'll do a full list for each year. Upon completion of the hearing evaluation, the practitioner will program a set of instruments with your prescription. We will then do those lists again. Check your hearing and see how well you do versus that unaided word test. Again, that person to bring with you, someone with a familiar voice. If you don't have a family member that can come with you, a neighbor, a friend, again, somebody whose voice is very familiar to you, and easy for you to understand normally. Again, for the Bell Tone YouTube hearing channel, I'm Dave the Hearing Aid Guy. Until next time.